So hey friends, how's everybody today? Hope you're well. Hope everybody's healthy, happy, and of good cheer and a good heart. If you're not, try to do it. Try to find it. Try to be it. Somebody else out there might really depend on you being just that little bit for them in their life. So try to remember that and help somebody out. Help your fellow man out. Let me show you these heads for these 928s. I'm just kind of glide over them with a the camera. If you see anything interesting or flawed, you can pause it, zoom in, and I don't know, let me know what you think. Let me tell you what these are. These are uh, the heads from the M2842 engine, which I acquired from RVM. And these are the heads from my S4, the M21 or M28.42, 41 motor, M28.41 motor right here. I took these off, took them all off, but uh, these I've done nothing to them except put them away in the box. Pulled them out to do some comparison to the ones I'm going to use. Um, maybe these I'll get refinished. Um, and these are the heads for Allison's motor that are now finished. Notice how these, this head has the swirl marks from the cutting tool. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if, if I need to expect that. And comparing to this head, I don't know if this head or these heads right here have been resurfaced. I, I don't know. Um, I think it's probably prudent to have them checked, pulled apart and New valve guides put in. Um, I'll get the heads back and I will blast them. Might even do the same with this set. Now I have a spare and a spare set and maybe even utilize them on that other M28.41 motor that I've got a lead on buying. Um, now let's focus on the heads I received or the engine I received from RVM. It was torqued, the motor was put together, it was not run. So I think that these markings are, or these, these uh, markings are from the gasket that was on here and is now off in the trash. You can see some of the cut marks here, right here. So it, it, this head probably was resurfaced. You know, there's a little bit of pitting right here that they obviously did not decide to cut down more than just that. Maybe it was not needed. Maybe they cut down too much or if they cut down any more, it would uh, compromise the deck height I don't know but I do think that now looking at, looking on these heads I can see some swirl marks so I do think these have been cut down so I'm going to bring these heads up to <clears throat> Samson racing engines same guy that did these heads right here um, and have him at least look. He's going to look at this video and his expert opinion, uh, he'll let me know what he thinks. Um, these I might just take apart myself, blast them, and um, then take them to him, you know, with the valves, and he can, uh, you know, of course, I'll mark the valves where they came out, port, exhaust, port, 
intake port uh, and then mark it to the corresponding head. At least I think that's probably a prudent thing to do. It probably doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all because the, these are all going to be hand lapped back in. Um, that's if we redo these heads. So, But I do want to experience blasting it. And um, I'm going to come back with a cam tower to add into this video and also pose the uh, questions that come from the cam tower, uh, cam towers for y'all, respective of the 79 engine. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm returning. This is a cam tower from my 81 car and the 81 motor. Um, they are a little different than the 79. These have screw-in plugs. Uh, the 79 had rubber plugs. And the, the lifter area, the lifter valley area is different on this one versus the 79. But my question is, this has been media blasted. I plastic media blasted this several years ago and I chose this powder coat color just because it seemed kind of cool. And it's the color that Allison, the owner of the 79 car, really likes. So my question is, these have been media blasted in the valley, the lifter valleys. Now, a few months ago, I did take a lifter out of Allison's cam tower put them in here and they fit very nicely. So I'm going to show as best I can. And I don't know if I can get a focus on that. Yeah, it doesn't look like I will, but I'll show the best I can the blasting profile inside of these chambers where the lifter rides. And as I said before, the lifter rode in these very nicely, but these are a little different. Hers have a steel spacer on here. These do not. So I will have to reuse hers for her heads. This didn't quite fit on there. I think the, uh, these studs are just maybe a little bit different because it didn't quite line up. And maybe the uh, area here is different because it was hitting the cam springs. So let me just go in here so you can see the oil galleries. My thought is that this is serviceable. This will be okay. So I could pull Allison's apart and do the same process to hers that I did to these. Everything's super clean, super nice. So, and, and hers are, are greasy and oily still in the box. So what is your thoughts, my friends, the 928 people out there in the, in the world, the internet world, what is your thoughts about everything the serviceability of these heads and and also another question is what do a good set of s4 heads go for i mean the market's very small not a whole lot of people require these and if they do require them they might just rebuild their own unless they're not rebuildable um so that is that is a true case out there. there's a lot of people with these cars and these motors that something is broken on them you can't get the new part you can't get a replacement part so things like this become gold so anyways what's your thought on that and uh have a good day cheers